90 years ago, while trying to dock the flying aircraft carrier USS Akron to her mooring mast, two U.S. sailors fell to their death. In 1932, the 785-foot-long airship, USS Akron, flew cross-country from New Jersey to California. Low on fuel, USS Akron was now 36 tons lighter. Also, California sunshine warmed the helium inside, making the carrier dangerously light. Since this particular stop was unplanned, no trained ground handlers or specialized mooring equipment were present, ensuring this was a disaster waiting to happen. To avoid a nose stand like this one by the USS Los Angeles, recorded months earlier, the port mooring cable was cut and the USS Akron rose upwards. Most of the ground crew, inexperienced sailors from the Naval Training Station San Diego, released their lines, although four did not. This footage, obtained from the US National Archives, shows one sailor letting go at 15 feet, suffering only a broken arm, while three other sailors were carried up 360 feet Aviation Carpenter's mate, third class, Robert Edsel, and apprentice seaman, Nigel Henton, grew tired and let go, plunging to their deaths. However, the third sailor, Seaman Bud Coart, held on for two hours at 2,000 feet. While the crew of the USS Akron figured out a way to hoist him aboard the aircraft carrier. It was a grand and glorious feeling to get inside once more. <laughs> <laughs> 